Okay, for 4b, uh, we have a division going on this time. So the exponent rule we have to apply on the inside of there is going to be sub the subtraction rule. So we're going to do 3 to the 7x minus 4x, and that will equal 729. So this, we have, when you're dividing, you're going to subtract exponents. When you're multiplying, you're going to add. So we have to subtract in this case. Now that's going to give us 3 to the 3x, but that's still being raised to the x minus 1. And we're going to, uh, you're raising a power to another power, so you got to multiply the exponents in that case, and so you would get 3x squared minus 3x. Now, in order to use equal basis property, we have to get 729 as a base, and it's going to have to be a base of 3. We just have to figure out what the exponent is. Now, if you're not sure, you can actually just use your calculator and just start multiplying. Uh, 3 squared. 3 times 3 is 9, times the 3 is 27, times another 3 is 81. So if you keep multiplying by 3 until you get to 729, you'll find out that you have to multiply this, uh, the 3 6 times. And then you'll get 3 times 3 times 3 and so forth 6 times and you'll get 729. So that's kind of how you can do that. As before, we said that if you have equal basis property, you can now set the exponents equal. Uh, and so let me erase this right here, so we have some space. 3x squared minus 3x equals 6. Set the uh, exponents equal. And then, you, uh, as always, you want to set it equal to 0. So let's we'll subtract the 6 and equal 0. Now, you could factor it that way like I did in the key. Or if you notice that everything is divisible by 3, you could also divide everything by 3 just to make the numbers smaller, easier to factor. It's not going to affect your answer. Uh, and so we get 0 there. This last one, we're just going to factor. Uh, we have 1 and 2. You have to put a, put a negative there to get a, a negative term in the middle there. And then you'll get x is equal to negative 1 and positive 2, and those would be your two answers.